Hi everyone, this is Danai and today's video is going to be a little bit of a vlog where I take you with me through my next days. I am actually on tour in South Africa right now and I am on the final days of my tour. I only have one concert left. I've already been here for over a week and I still have three more days where I'm going to be playing Mendelssohn's Concerto Number no. 1 one more time. I already played it in Johannesburg and I had recitals and now it's my last concerto engagement with the KwaZulu Natal Symphony Orchestra, which is an orchestra here in South Africa. Today I just flew out to Durban from Johannesburg and I'm going to be rehearsing here in the next days and then the concert is in three days and I'm flying back on the fourth day back to Berlin to Germany. Yeah, so far I've really been enjoying the tour. South Africa is such a beautiful country. I actually got to go on a safari. I got to visit a couple of museums and I had so much fun playing with the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra and also playing a recital. The hall was beautiful and now I'm really looking forward to getting to know the orchestra that is here in Durban. So if you're interested in seeing what my experience will be like, then keep on watching.
Good morning! So as you can see, I am now in a backstage area. The concert here is actually taking place in an opera. It's called the Playhouse Opera and I think it's the main concert venue here in Durban. And they've closed this, this very big curtain and also this door right here. They've closed all of that for the sound because the orchestra is actually rehearsing on the stage. So um, I'm practicing here, I'm warming up. So I finished practicing the Mendelssohn, Mendelssohn 1, which is the concerto that I'm playing here in South Africa on tour. And now I'm actually taking my very first look at a completely new piano concerto, which I'm performing in two months. So I'm just starting to get a look at it and get a feel for it. It is by the French female composer, Marie Jaël, and it is very romantic, very late romantic. It's giving me a bit of Rachmaninoff vibes. It is very virtuoso. So, so there's a lot of work that's going to go into that. So I'm just getting a first look to get a head start because I have things coming up until that concert and I just want to uh, be safe and start learning it in order to feel good when the concert comes up. sound less first violin a little bit more second violin so that we would have the ground <laughs>
So I'm back at the hotel and I'm actually working on some emails here on my iPad and I just got food again. <laughs> Since I'm alone, I just get room service here and it's a burger, Ooh, a very big one. So I'm very excited to eat that. Hello everyone, so it is concert day today and it is 4 p.m. I just woke up from my afternoon nap because I always nap in the afternoon. I mean, not always, but I try to nap as often as I can in the afternoon when I have a concert, especially a concerto performance coming up because it's always demanding and yeah, I like to be rested. So I'm in the bathroom of my hotel room and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit because I feel like I haven't shared so many thoughts in this vlog, so I'm just going to take you through what I'm doing. I do what I always do, I kind of get my hair ready for the performance. I like to do that in my room and not backstage, because backstage I actually always get ready very last minute. And I get dressed just like, I don't know, 10 minutes before the concert starts. So I like to have my hair already done, because that's usually what takes me the most time. So. Yes, as you know, I'm in South Africa and it is quite interesting to be here because it is such a different country, it is so different than what I am used to and the biggest difference actually is the safety. No matter who I speak to, everyone tells me you have to be careful, you have to be so careful not to walk around alone, not to um, yeah, basically be anywhere but the hotel or the taxi or the hall and um, this is now my last stop actually on the tour so I've already been in a couple of other South African cities and this is Durban now this city they told me at least where I am here which is in kind of like a, a fancy area in a very nice hotel this is kind of safer but in the city center where the hall is I'm, I'm playing at the opera tonight Playhouse Opera, it's called, and also in Johannesburg, they told me, do not walk around alone. So this is a big difference to what I'm used to because I love walking around the city when I'm there. I really like to explore it. So yes, it's not something that I'm used to and very new to me, but of course I'm obliged to the rules. Obviously I don't want anything to happen. And I did do a couple of trips in South Africa, which I thought were so beautiful. I think this country is so beautiful. I, and that's why I think it's such a pity that, um, yeah, right now the situation is so difficult and it is not very safe to be walking around alone, at least if you don't know the country as well. Um, so and for me, it's my first time. I obviously look like a tourist. I behave like a tourist. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But I, for example, I did a safari, which was so beautiful. And I saw some lions and leopards and things like that, which was really, really cool. And I also went to some museums, which was, I mean, I, I wouldn't say the word is cool. It was very thought provoking. I went to the Apartheid Museum and to Constitution Hill in Johannesburg, which used to be the jail. Yeah, people would be jailed for misbehaving under apartheid, um, which was, yeah, very, very thought provoking, very moving, I want to say, and, and shocking. Um, there were moments where I definitely had tears in my eyes. I couldn't really believe what I was seeing. But anyway, that's a whole other subject. Um, this is my final day in South Africa. The concert tonight is at 7 p.m. So as I said, it's four right now. I'm getting ready. I'm gonna have a little bit of cake because I always like to eat something sweet on the day of the concert. 
Um, and then I'm going to be picked up at 5 p.m., so two hours before the concert. I'm going to drive to the hall, which takes about half an hour, and then I have another one and a half hours there before the concert to warm up a bit and get dressed. Yes, so it's my last concerto performance. Another interesting thing about this tour is that I had both concerto and recital performances, which is kind of unusual also because usually a tour is just concerto or just recital, for me at least. So um, I really had the direct comparison of playing a concerto and then playing a recital just on the next day and the other way around. And it was very interesting because, of course, when you're playing a concerto, it's so much fun and uh, I love doing that. But when playing a recital, just compared to the concerto, suddenly you're all alone on stage and you have the complete freedom to do whatever you want. And that was a very freeing experience as well, I have to say. So, um, as always, when people ask me what do you prefer or what would you choose if you had to choose, fortunately I don't have to choose, I wouldn't know what to pick. I really wouldn't know. I love both. I think it's great to do both. and. The third thing that I love doing, which I haven't been doing on this tour, but I do it a lot in my life, is chamber music. I absolutely love chamber music, and I think all these three things, concerto, solo recital, and chamber music, really are what makes it perfect. I wouldn't want to get rid of any of those. I think you learn from every one of these for the next one. So, for example, chamber music teaches me so much for a piano concerto or for a piano recital. But of course, also being the soloist and having to shape everything yourself teaches you a lot about chamber music and um, how to take responsibility for the musical interpretation. So, yeah, really the truth is that I, I love all three of these disciplines, if that's what you want to call them. Okay, so as I said, I have my cake right here. Ordered it with room service. And in case you've been wondering why I'm just exclusively eating room service here, it's for the same reason. It's for safety reasons. Because actually they say, don't leave your room, be super careful. And I'm sure that if people from South Africa are watching this, they're gonna say that's probably an exaggeration. And I actually personally feel like it is an exaggeration. I would love to just go outside. But really everyone has been telling me, don't do it. Just be on the safe side because you don't know which are the more dangerous streets and which aren't and you don't know how to behave and i get that so just playing it safe and eating my cake in my room <laughs> and i just want to say the orchestras are really really wonderful uh, now here i'm working with the kwazulu natal philharmonic orchestra which is the orchestra here in durban where i am right now and it's really really wonderful it's such a great experience i'm really enjoying it the people are just so warm and oh yeah this is what i want to mention as well the people are incredibly friendly every single person that i've met no matter if it's from the orchestra or from the organization or from the hotel or a taxi driver anyone or in a museum someone helping me out they have been incredibly helpful incredibly warm and welcoming so my experience here has been very very positive even though i haven't gotten out quite a lot so now i'm gonna eat my cake and then i'm gonna go to the hall okay so the concert has begun they're playing the overture right now it is about 10 past seven and i'm on in about 10 minutes i would say i'm ready to go and i'm very excited this is what I'm wearing, my golden jumpsuit, which I think you know from a video that I made um, a couple of weeks ago. And yes, I'm gonna be called to stage any minute now, and then I'm ready for the Mendelssohn. So I'm just finished, as you can see by my red face. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, the audience was so lovely. In every concert that I played here in South Africa, the audience has been so warm, has always given standing ovations. They really are so enthusiastic and give back so much. And that's so nice for the artist, you know, when the audience just gives back so much energy, you really feel like it was worth something, like you really, you really reached someone. So I'm very happy. I'm on a post-concert high now. And outside of my dressing room, there's kind of a party going on, I think. 
Actually, I wanted to show you, but you can't really see it. Anyway, there's a very different type of music there with people dancing, pretty cool. So I will be driven back to the hotel now, and tomorrow I have three flights that are taking me back to Berlin. I'm flying from Durban to Johannesburg, and then Johannesburg, Cairo, so Egypt, and then Cairo, Berlin. So long journey ahead of me, but then I'll be back home. Good morning, it's the next day, and as you can see, I am in my winter clothes. I'm ready to fly back to Germany. The taxi is picking me up in a couple of minutes. I'm just gonna check out of my room, and then I'm going on my long trip back home to Johannesburg, to Cairo, and then to Berlin. And yes, I just wanted to finish this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. That would help me a lot. And I will see you again in my next video next week. Bye.